Hi lovely people of YouTube! Today I'm gonna make this incredible pumpkin chestnut a sage lasagna. So simple, so good. What a treat. You will love it. Look at the pumpkins I have here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This particular one is called the Cinderella pumpkins. Slice right down. You need a nice knife to do that. Ta -ta -ta -ta. It's about a kilo altogether. So what do you need? You remove all the seeds and the pulp has started to slice. Which way? You need about half a centimeter slice. I need to put some olive oil in a tray. All the pumpkins, just put them inside. A little bit of salt for start. Little chili flake. Nice sage leaves, four, five, or six. Now chestnuts, yeah. Roughly 250 grams. So Chris, cross. Crush it, put it back. Cut it, cross it, crush it. Get two lovely red onion, cut them in a half, and then you cut them in quarter. Put them on top. Little olive oil again. A little bit of salt. Little cherry flakes. You put them in the oven at temperature 180 for 35 minutes to 40 minutes. Let's do it. That's incredible, yes. I have to taste it, I have to. I just want it the way it is. But we're gonna make this lasagna. The water is boiling, it's about four or five liters here. I need to put some salt inside. With this particular lasagna, I use fantastic spell pasta, all grain pasta, so delicious. Slowly, just lay in, just a few at a time. I blanch it for about two to three minutes. Let's put them on top here, on the sheets of uh, oven-proof paper to dry up a little bit. And let's put the rest inside. Right, you can see this is all the pasta is blanched. You can see I cooked the al dente, which is I can move in around. In exactly the same time, I made a lovely bachamel sauce. Click here on the side. You can see how to make perfect bachamel. Now, I need to make the topping. 100 grams wholemeal bread. Roughly chopped, roughly chopped, yeah. Then I need 40 grams of parmesan. Straight in. 40, 40 grams of almond with the skin on, two cloves of garlic, just cut them in half, just put them inside, 44 old grams of lovely smoky pancetta, cut them a little bit, just put them all inside, cover. Stop! Full of flavor. Now, get a baking trace. Nice a dip inside, we need to put them on the lasagna all together. You can see the old chestnuts is all done. And then you start with the pumpkins, the onions as well, sage. I love it. The pasta goes on it. You have to adjust it. Let's get some bechamel. Oh gosh, so nice. Especially with the nutmeg inside, it's incredible. Some of the chestnuts, because you crisscross, you melt it, put some on top. Now we go back again with pumpkins. And you keep doing, lay one on top of the other. Easy, simple. And yes, let's get the bachamel on top. It's gonna taste it so good. We need to get all this bread crumble with almonds, with the garlic, with the pancetta, with the parmesan. Crumble on top. A little bit of black pepper as well, a little bit of parmesan. The rest of the chestnuts, so fantastical, so good. Don't be afraid to put the sage on top, because when they crisp it up, they really, really, really good. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil, put them in the oven for about 
35 to 40 minute temperature while 9-0. Yes. Oh yes. I told you it was going to be good. I can guarantee it was going to be good. And it is good. Mmm, the pumpkin is incredible. It's so delicious. I can test almost every ingredient inside. And the crispness on top. It's just unbelievable. You make it. And you will agree to with me. And if you want to see make a spicy Bellini, just click here on the side. I made them on the drink too. You will enjoy it! Now I have to say goodbye because I'm gonna finish my lasagna! Arrivederci! This recipe was made from Jamie magazine. If you wanted to see more of this recipe, just click on the link. Click, 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 click! Yes!